Alright guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a super basic and simple subscribe animation in After Effects. I want to mention that this is super easy to make and even a beginner should be able to smoothly follow this video. So make sure to give it a like and possibly subscribe if you would like to see more tutorials like this. I'll also be giving away this project file for all my Aerial Plus members as well as many more project files and animations. So make sure to check that out in the description. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so obviously, when you open up After Effects, all you want to do is create a new composition by clicking this button. After that, all you want to do is copy down these settings. Width 1920, height 1080, frame rate 60, and duration for 10 seconds. And then you can choose any background you would like, and you can change the name to anything you like. I'll be naming it, uh, subscribe animation, and then go ahead and click OK. Alright, so once you open up your brand new composition, all you want to do is click this little button. And if you don't see the rectangle shape right here, all you want to do is long click it and then make sure you've selected the rectangle tool. After that, all you want to do is disable the stroke by clicking the text stroke and then clicking this little uh, icon and click OK. And then you want to uh, enable the fill by clicking this area of the fill. And you can choose any color, but you should choose something like red-ish, since it's a subscribe button and you want to make it red-ish. So I'm going to be choosing around this color. DB0D0D. I think that's the correct color code. But, you know, you can change it anytime you like, so you don't really need to copy down my settings. Now all you want to do is make your, so you just want to select that tool, and you want to start dragging it inside your screen, something like this. And then, like, obviously you can change any of these settings, any of the shape, as much as you want, but make sure you follow my, like, settings, alright? So all you want to do after that is press Y on your keyboard, and then you want to select your shape layer once again by clicking this. Now you should be seeing something like this. So this is called the anchor point, and the scale, position, and everything matter depends on this anchor point. So it, it like the name literally says it, it's an anchor for the shape. So you want this to the center so it always equally like scales up and down from the center. So all you want to do is select your, uh, what's this tool called? Pan behind tool again. So you want to press Y to actually select that tool. And then you want to drag this while pressing control on the keyboard to put it on the center, just like so. And then you want to press V on the keyboard to go back. And then you want to open up your align tab right here if you don't have it just click window right here and click align and then once you exit that and once you open up the align tab you want to you want to select your shape layer one and you want to uh, click align horizontally and align vertically now you should center the whole uh, background into the very center of the screen all right so once you do that all you want to do is open up your shape layer one the contents the rectangle one and then the rectangle path and then what I like to do often is pretty much increase the roundness to make it more smoother. But you really don't need to do this. You can make it zero and make it like a complete square if you would like. But I'll be using around, let's say like, yeah, 40, 43, 45. I'll say 45 for this shape. So you can follow this if you would like, but you can always change your settings again. Now after that, we're going to start adding the actual text. So, go ahead and select your text tool by hitting Ctrl T on your keyboard, and then select anywhere on your screen, and then type subscribe, or technically you can change the text to anything you like, like follow, or like like the video, you know, anything you want. But since this is a subscribe animation tutorial, I'll be typing subscribe. Now type SU subscribe, alright, and then you want to do is Ctrl A, so you can select the whole text, and you can increase the text size and all that. But then all you want to do is the same thing you did with the uh, actual background. You want to use the align tab to align it horizontally and align it vertically. Now it should center it again. Now again, the same thing you want to do with the background you just did. You want to click Y on your keyboard. Zoom in by using the Alt key on your keyboard and your scroll wheel. And you can zoom in just like so. And then you can move the anchor point while pressing Ctrl on your keyboard to center it right there. And then to go back to your normal like zoom, all you want to do is click this button and click fit on your uh, on your screen. Alright, so after that, what you want to do is uh, 
change like the settings for your text if you want so i'm going to be changing the spacing just a bit by the way the font i'm using is called made tommy and it's the extra bold option uh i think i'll be putting the link in the description down below it is free to use uh it's a free download so you can check it out anytime and once you change the settings of the font all you want to do is pretty much start animating it all right so what we're going to be doing at the very start of the animation is we're going to be parenting the text into the shape layer so how we're going to do that is pretty much open up your parent and link tab right here if you don't see it uh most of the time you haven't toggle switch modes so all you want to do is click this so all you want to do is in your subscribe text all you want to do is click this and then make it into your shape layer one your background so then it will follow the animation of the shape layer one no matter what so let's say uh okay so we're gonna select the shape layer one we're gonna press s on your keyboard and we're it's gonna show the scale options right so then if we change the scale options for shape layer one the, the scale for the text also changes so it's basically like a it's basically parented to the shape layer one so we're gonna be using this little tool to animate the actual animation so first off you want to select shape layer one hit p on your keyboard and then while pressing shift you want to press s on your keyboard and also r on your keyboard now it should show up the position scale and rotation keyframes in your screen now all you want to do is move your time indicator right here to the very uh, first part of your timeline and then all you want to do is select all your keyframes just like so and then what you want to do is move your timeline indicator to around let's say one second and 15 milliseconds and you want to select all these keyframes move it to around here now if you want to put it exactly on one second and 15 milliseconds you want to press shift on your keyboard while dragging it just like so and it should snap it onto place all right now what you want to do is go back to zero seconds and then what you want to do is change these settings so i'm going to start off by the rotation settings i'm going to choose around let's say um, 18 degrees actually no 15 degrees that's 18 uh, a bit too much uh, 15 degrees I'm gonna scale it down to around let's say 80 yep that looks good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the whole thing uh, move the shape layer once so we're gonna press V on your keyboard and we're gonna move it just like so just drag it down so it hides the whole subscribe animation and then what you want to do is select all these keyframes by just dragging simply dragging them and hit F9 on your keyboard once you do that all you want to do is go to your graph editor and then it should show like some random stuff it's gonna look super complicated but trust me once you copy down my settings and, and once you copy down my movements you'll have a perfectly clean subscribe animation so what you want to do first off is click this button fit all graphs to view and then all you want to do after that is click this button and show the speed graph not the not the uh not the value graph not like reference graph you want to show the speed graph all right and then you can use your alt key and your scroll wheel to again zoom out and zoom in and also you can press space while dragging literally like clicking and dragging uh, to look around your graph now all you want to do is select v on your keyboard again to select your movement tool and then drag it just like so and it should select these yellow how do you say lines and dots all you want to do is click this little yellow dot and then bring it to the very left so make sure you don't like bring it up and down because that's going to look really weird. All you want to do is bring it to the very left side of your screen. Just like so it's going to stop moving. And then you want to exit out of your graph editor by clicking it again. And then go to zero seconds and go ahead and preview your animation. So it looks just like this and I think it looks amazing. Alright so that's the first part of the subscribe animation. Let's move on to the actual pressing the button part all right all right so next up what you want to do is go to around one second and 30 milliseconds also you can use your page up and down key to go around one keyframe each and then you can use your alt key and scroll wheel to scroll up and down through the timeline you can also use your space bar and your left click to drag around the timeline all right so go ahead and select your movement tool by selecting v on your keyboard and then all you want to do is select your shape layer one and then you want to open up your scale keyframe right here so you want to click this little diamond icon you see right here click it just like so and then you want to move around let's say five keyframes so use your page down key one two three four five and then all you want to do is make it to around 90 let's say 
and then you want to go again five keyframes one two three four five and then make it 100 percent now look a bit weird and dull because you haven't changed any keyframe settings yet but it should look like this yep so i think it's a bit too fast so what you can do is select these keyframes hit all on your keyboard and then choose your right like very right keyframe drag it to the right side just like so then it should uh, open up the whole spacing of the all these keyframes and it should make it much like slower all right so that's a bit too slow for me again i'm just gonna be making it just a tiny bit yep all right that looks good now all you want to do is pretty much select these keyframes again these three keyframes hit f9 on your keyboard go to your graph editor and this time we're going to be changing a little bit of these settings so hit your alt key and scroll up so you can zoom in all you want to do is pretty much do this so you want to do that you want to move these yellow dots and you want to move these yellow dots into the center of your screen so pretty much you want to make this little like bump to the center of like how do you say center of the bar graph so it's a bit hard to explain but once you get the like flow you will get the whole thing literally i'm not even kidding so once you do this all you want to do is exit out of the graph editor and preview your animation now i think that looks perfect to me obviously you can change your like speed graph and your settings as much as you want but i'll be using these settings for this tutorial all right so next off what we're going to be doing is actually changing the color of the background and also the text to subscribed so it looks more like we press the button so what we're going to be doing is out of these three keyframes you want to go to the very first one just like so and then all you want to do is go to the effects and presets tab and type fill now if you don't have this effects and presets tab again similar to the align tab you want to click window and click effects and presets right here all you want to do is search fill and drag the generate fill effect right here on the shape layer one once you do that all you want to do is click the color option right here and again select the same color you chose last time well you don't it doesn't have to be exact same but you can literally choose any color you want from right here so just make sure to make it look a bit red so it's like the normal subscribe option and then click the keyframe right here next to color and then all you want to do is move to the middle keyframe that you selected. So all you want to do is move to the uh, keyframe at the middle. It doesn't have to be exact same. Just move it to around the middle. Select the color again. And then make it to around a grayish color. I'm going to be choosing around 737373. And then I'm going to be clicking OK. Now what you want to do is go back and preview your animation. Beautiful. I think that looks great. Yeah. That looks like a, a button that will have been pressed. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Alright, so all you want to do after that is you see these three keyframes, right? You want to go to the uh, keyframe. You want to move your time indicator to the one between the first keyframe and the second keyframe just in the middle of that. And you want to select the subscribe text. Hit Control shift d on the keyboard. And then you want to select the one that's on the top right. And then you want to select the text by triple clicking it. And then you want to type subscribed, like the past tense, just like so. And then obviously you can hit Control T, sorry, Control A on the keyboard, and you can uh, scale it down just like so. And then it should be looking something like this. And then you can preview your whole animation again. Awesome! I think that looks great. This is really clean. This is really simple. I think it looks great. So the last part of this tutorial is actually uh leaving the actual subscribe animation out of your screen so go ahead and move around two seconds or just a bit further than that maybe two maybe a few milliseconds after or anything you like obviously and then what you want to do is select all these keyframes once again by clicking these little diamond icons beside them so you want to click this you want to click this and you want to click this and then it's just like make all these brand new keyframes and nothing should change after that all you want to do is pretty much go to around, let's say, one second after, or one and a half seconds after, just like so. So, wait, it was two, two seconds, right? So, just go, like, three seconds. Let's say three seconds, all right? And then, all you want to do is pretty much play around with these settings as much as you like, but you can copy down my settings if you don't know how to do it. All you want to do is make it around 15 once again, and then you can make it around 80 once again. And then you want to drag this whole thing down just like so. And then all you want to do is enable motion blur for the whole animation by clicking these options right here. 
one two three so you want to enable these so if you don't have these options you want to click toggle switches slash modes so if you see this all you want to click is toggle switches slash modes and you should see these icons and you want to enable motion blur go back to zero seconds and let's preview the whole animation awesome so all you want to do after that is select these keyframes that makes you exit the whole subscribe animation because it looks really weird right now it's like it's just weird all you want to do is select all these keyframes hit f9 on the keyboard and then go to your graph editor we're gonna do a very simple dropping down uh, speed all you want to do is select these keyframes once again just like so make sure you're on the speed graph and then select it you want to move the right dot right yellow dot to the very right not very right but super close to the right and then you want to move the left yellow dot to as much right as you can so it should look something like this like a super super steep slope now all you want to do is exit out of your graph editor and you're done let's preview the whole animation amazing okay so that took what around 15 minutes it's not too long i think it looks super great i think i think that was amazing so yeah that's pretty much it for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching uh i will be releasing this whole project file in Arial plus make sure to check it out link in the description you get many other project files as well as this one so make sure to check it out make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye